Right now, a Woonsocket murder suspect is in custody. 31-year-old Alvin Huggins was apprehended by Boston police. Eyewitness News first broke the news on Eyewitness News at 6.30 over on Fox Providence. Huggins is scheduled to appear in a Boston court tomorrow morning. He's a suspect in the stabbing death of 28-year-old Yanira Flores on Willow Street. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russell is live at Woonsocket Police with more details tonight. Alvin Huggins was picked up earlier tonight by Boston's Fugitive Task Force, less than a day after police say he killed the mother of his children. It was Boston police who arrested the man on your screen, 31-year-old Alvin Huggins. He was found in Dorchester on the run, wanted for murdering Yanira Flores, his children's mother. This is you know, one of these ultimate acts of extreme violence, which we hate to see end in a tragedy like this. Flores was 28 years old and a mother of two young children. She was stabbed in the chest in her home on Willow Street in Woonsocket. A bouquet of flowers now sits in her mailbox. Her family tells us both of her kids were home when it happened. There's a, a significant impact when children witness domestic violence or experience trauma like that, not just at that point in time, but throughout their lifetime. In 2012, court papers show Huggins was sentenced to serve 18 months in prison after he slashed a man in the neck with a knife, cutting him from his left ear to below his jawline. According to the court papers, Flores was with Huggins when police came looking for him for that stabbing. She even gave a witness statement saying she thought Huggins used a pocket knife when he slashed the man's face. If you think back on when a relationship starts, it never starts as an abusive relationship. So there's a foundation of love or a foundation of some kind of emotional connection. And we've been in contact with Flores' family all day. They did not want to talk to us on camera. Huggins will be arraigned in court tomorrow in Boston. Live in Wasaka with the Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russ and Eyewitness News.